Hello and welcome to 12 Volt Planet TV. My name is Craig and today we're going to be discussing the Victron Energy Smart Battery Protect. This unit can help protect your wet bed acid, AGM and gel batteries from being overly discharged and it does this by automatically disconnecting the load output once it hits a preset voltage threshold. This unit comes in various sizes. For today's video we'll be using the 65 amp version. However, you will find a 100 and 220 amp version available on our website also. Firstly, let's show you what you get in the box. In the box, you'll find a negative the cable connection with a ring terminal, which is connected to a block, which can be attached to the unit. Inside, you'll find an anti-static bag, the smart pet unit itself. Block will be inserted into this section here. You'll see at the front of the unit it gives you an indication as to the unit model and the output and input terminals located at the top of the unit. So, for the purpose of this video, we will be attaching our negative connections to a power post which are available on our website. This will help just make everything neater for the installation. We will also be using one of our bigger lights. And this will just allow us to have a visual indication of when the unit disconnects our outputs. So let's show you how to install the unit. So as you can see, one of the first things we've done is connected our block negative to our power post, and the same with our light negative. They will then share the negative with our battery, which for the purpose of this video, we are using a AC to DC transformer here with a variable voltage. Once our negatives are connected, we can attach our battery positive to our input of the unit, which is clearly marked at the front. Now that we have our power connected, we will turn on our power supply. So we are able to change the settings. On our Victron app. We will go ahead and change our voltage. So it's similar to a fully charged battery, which is usually 12 point. So here you can see the Victron Connect app, which we will open. When you first open the app, you will find the Victron Smart Battery Protect or any other Victron products you have. Select the Battery Protect. When you first connect to the system, you may be asked to install a firmware update. But for the purpose of this video, we've made sure ours is up to date. Once open, you'll see that the battery status is displayed along with the voltage and along with your load output state. We can now go into our settings where we'll be able to see the battery voltage. So if you were using a 24 system, you would be able to change this manually. And you have your under voltage settings. As you can see here, the preset is zero, and we can change this. So we will change this to the preset of seven. You can also alter the alarm output. Here you'll see the load and disconnect alarm settings, which you can change from A, which is a buzzer and LED mode, B, relay, or C, lithium ion, if you have a lithium battery. If you wish, you can select to either be indicated by a buzzer or LED, should you wish a sound or visual indication of over voltage or under voltage, or you can select a relay, should you wish to start a generator. Once applied, click save to save these settings, and you can store these as a file name or easy reference earlier at a later date. If not, these settings will just stay active on your unit. So you can now see our LED light is on as our battery is at a good voltage. What we will do is we will go ahead and lower this voltage down, blow our preset towards 11.8, so we'll lower it to 11.7. Once done, you will see that the app automatically detects the low voltage as displayed on the screen. It will give you a notification saying that you have an under voltage warning. 
This allows you to connect a mains battery charger if you have one. Maybe start a generator again if one is available. This warning will stay on for 90 seconds, which gives you time to connect a charger if possible. Or prevents loads being disconnected prematurely for high current draws. For the purpose of this video, we have cut out a portion of this, and as you can see, the LED light has been turned off automatically thereby turning off all our load outputs from our battery, preventing any further discharge. What I will do now is I will increase our voltage to a typical charging voltage of 14.2 volts. The app will display 14.2 volts again as the battery status as it detects the increase in voltage. And again, there will be a period of wait while the system detects the voltage and allows for any variations. As you can see, the system has now been reactivated, so our LED light has come back on, as our battery has now got an adequate charge to be able to power the load. To find out more about this product and other products in our range, please visit our website www cloudballplanet.co.uk or visit the links in the description down below. If you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to give us a like and if you want to see future videos, please feel free to subscribe to our channel. If there's anything in particular you'd like to see in the future, please feel free to leave us a comment in the comment section down below and we hope you have enjoyed this video. Enjoy the rest of your day.